This video was requested by him where he says, do you have a tutorial on uploading images to the back end and then displaying it onto the front end? If you are also struggling with the same query, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you the most easiest method to upload images to the back end and show it onto the front end. So without further ado, let's get started. I have opened my VS Code Editor and I have already created one upload images folder inside which I have one backend folder. Now inside this backend folder, I have already created the basic express application with this just nine line of code. Now inside my dependencies, you can see right now I have only two dependencies, express and mongoose. First and foremost, let us write backend code for uploading images. For this, you will need one extra dependency, which is multi. To install this dependency, go to your browser and write npm i multer. Go with the first link and from here, copy this command. And you can stop your application, paste it and hit enter. Till the time it is installing this dependency, let us go and read the documentation. So the first line of documentation says, multer is a Node.js middleware for handling multi-part form data. Now in simple words, multer is used for uploading images, PDF in your backend. Now, if you will scroll down, you will see the usage and you will also get some code snippet from which you can understand how you can use this middleware in your application. So as you can see here, it is saying that if you want to use this in your application, first you need to import it. So let us first import it in our application. So as much of now, we know that Multer is a middleware. Our next step will be to set up this middleware. So if you will scroll down, you will come to know about setting up your middleware. So inside the storage, you will get this, this storage and you can copy all this code from here and paste it in your application. And congratulations, you have set up your Multer middleware. Now let's understand this code snippet. We are creating one variable storage, which is using our Multer middleware. This multer dot dig storage is taking two methods inside it in which we are just calling this callback function here. If you will hover on this, you will come to know that this callback function takes two parameters. First is error and second is destination string. So we are not handling error this time. So we have written null here. And next is destination string. You can change this destination string as per your requirement. So here, right, right now, I'm writing slash uploads. So all the images are going to be stored in this upload folder. But right now, I don't have this upload folder. So let us create one. The second method is file name. Now you can see we have one uh, unique suffix here, which is created by date dot. Now, if you want, you can use this, but I'm not going to use this here. Instead, inside this callback function, I will use my own file name. Now, if you will see here, we have this, we have access to our file here. Now, right now, you will not understand where this file is coming in from, but I will show you. Now, always remember, give a unique file name because if the file name are same, then there are chances that the previous file name can get overwritten by newly uploaded. So for giving a unique file name, I'm going to use only date dot now for now plus hyphen file. I have access to my file from here dot original name. Now, right now, you will not understand what this file dot original name is, but hold it for now. I will show you once we will upload the our files. Now in line number 16, this storage variable, we are providing it here. Thanks to ES6. If the name of the key and value is same in object, we can write only once and it will work as same. Now we have this variable upload here. Since we have set up our middleware as per our requirement, now let us go and create one route. To create route, come to the documentation again. And from here, you will come to know how you can create routes. Notice it is using app.post because uploading images will be always a post request. We will also use app.post. Now here, the first parameter will be API endpoint. Right now, I'm, I'm giving single and then callback function, which will take request and response objects. Now between this API endpoint and this callback function, right here, we are going to use our upload middleware. 
Now come to this documentation and understand how you can use this upload middleware. Now what is the single means? It means a user can upload only one image at a time. So we will also use dot single here. Now if you will hover on the single, you will come to know that this single takes one parameter as a field name, which is of type string. Now this field name is very important while uploading images from the front end. For now, you can give any string here. So I'm going to give us image. So if you have already created some routes in your Express application, you may already know that we have request on body, request on params. As similar to this, for images, we have request.file. So you can console it and see what will come in request.file. Now, since we have created this single route in our Express application, to check this API endpoint, I'm using Thunder Client, but you can also use Postman. I will click on this new request here. Now it will be a post request. Give your API endpoint. Go inside this body. From here, take this form and click on this box. You can click on this button, choose file, and go to your desired location and choose one image and click on this button, open. Now you will notice that it is also taking one thing which is field name. Remember field name that we have given here. So this is the field name which is exactly this. So this field name, what we have provided is image. This is the exact spelling that you have to provide it here. And then you can click on this button send and we got one error. So the error that we have received is no such file or directory, but we have one uh, directory which is uploads and spelling is also matching. But the problem is we have not given dot here. This dot means at the same level, there is a folder. So we have consoled request.file and you can see our request.file is consoled here. And inside this uploads folder, our image is also uploaded here. So you can see the field name that we have given here. It is present over here. The original name of this image was this. So that's it. This is how you can upload images in your backend. Now let us see how you can save this image in your database. For that, first you need to connect your database. To connect my database, I will be using Mongo Atlas. So till now, my database is connected here successfully. But before uploading this image to our database, we will also require module for that. So let us create one module also. What we will write inside our schema, we will again upload one image and check what we can give here. So we will upload different image this time. Let's upload this image and click on this uh, button send. And we have this request.file here, which is consoled. And inside our schema, we can use this path. And this path will be of type string. And let us also make it require true. We can also save this file name, which is the name of our file. Since this image model will be a constructor function, so we will start with a capital I for naming convention. So this model will take first parameter as a collection name, images, and we will pass our image schema here. Now we'll export this image model. Now we can use this image model to save our images in our database. For that, let us use try catch block here. Since we want to save this in our database, so we can destructure this path and file name from request.file. Now we can use our image model to save this image in our database. We can make this function as async function and we can use await here. And then we can send one response, respond.send as message image uploaded. And in case of error, we can send response.send now, after writing this many lines of code, you should be able to save your images to the database. So the database name that I'm using is upload image. So you can go in your 
Mongo Atlas, and you can click on this button Browse Collection. And here we have this upload image, and inside which we have this collection image. So right now it is empty. So we will upload one image. So we, you can click on this button Send, and you will get the message as image uploaded. Status is 200. Okay. Now let us go and check in our database by clicking on this Refresh button. And you can see we have one we have one document where we have path and file name. So from this path in front end, we can fetch this image. And this is the name of our image that we saved here. And this is a unique ID which MongoDB provides it automatically by default. Now, since we have saved our image in our database, now we can go and fetch this image to our front end. Now for front end, I will create folder as front end and I will click on this button open in integrated terminal. Here I will write npx create react app and dot slash that means I'm not giving any my application name I'm providing dot slash that means it will take this front end name as it is so my react app is set up now so I can run this command npm start and you can see inside my front end I have this src inside which I have this inside our app.js I have this code snippet which you can remove it like this so if you will see to upload this image, you will need input tag of type file. Now, if you will see, now you will have this button for choosing a file. So you can click here and you can choose any image you want. Now we will require one state to store our image. Now we can write on change. So if you have already worked with input in ReactJS before, you know that we have e.target.value for taking the value from the input. So similar to that, we have something known as e.target.files for taking images. So when, when we will click on this button, choose file, and we will choose this image, and click on this button, open, you can see, so right now, on change, we are consoling e.target.files. So this thing is nothing but e.target.files. Now you can see it is a file list. That means it is the array of different files. Since this is the array, we can use this index, which is zeroth index. And you can also see here, we also have some data name as the name of the image and type is image jpg. We come to know that e.target.files is a array, so we can access our image through indexes. So I am using zeroth index. Now we will choose again. Suppose we choose this image. And click on this button open now we we are only getting the first object itself so it is the array of objects so this is the first object in that array list so what we can do we can save this in our set image state to save this image in our database we need to have one fetch request for that we will create one button and we can be on here and we will give one function name. so inside this function we will make a fetch request for that i'm using fetch you can also use excuse and here you can give method as post since we are having images this time in our application we need to use one extra thing which is form data so we cannot send directly object here we need to first append our image and all other things inside this form data and then we need to send this form data here in our backend for appending it that means for adding this this form data will have this function append and it will take a key value pair so now this key value pair is exactly same as what we have seen here you can see this was our field name and this was our value here also we have to give the field name first so this field name should exactly match with this field name which we have provided here otherwise this will not work and the value is the image that we have stored here now since fetch will give us a promise so let us resolve this promise by dot then now, before we make this fetch request from our front end to back end, first we need to set up the course here. Before that, we will need to go to this and install npm i course in your back end. Stop your application and install this course. And then inside this usage, first we need to import this course in our index.js. Let us make this as const. This is how we should use it. Now we will again start our application. So after setting up the course, let us click on this button choose file and then 
we will upload this idli this time and click on this button open and click on this button submit and you can see we got messages image uploaded and if you will go inside your database and check click on this button refresh this image that was idli image got uploaded in our database successfully from our front end now how you can show this image in your front end for that we need to make a get request so inside our back end code we will create one more route which is app dot get now you can destructure this id from request dot params and we will use await and we also have to make this function as async and we will use this image model and here we will pass this id that we have destructured here now after this you can see if not image you can handle one error from here you can send rs dot send message as image not found if there is an image so what we can do now we can create a path for it so const image image path and path dot join we will use path dot join and here we will write underscore underscore dir name that means directory name and our directory name is uploads and third parameter we will provide our image name so since we have this image now image dot file name so we will use this file name every time we used to do rest dot send or rest dot json because we are sending a image this time which is a file so we will use this dot send file and we will send this image path from here that's it now you can go in your browser and you can write your localhost 8080 in which your backend code is running and if you will check our api endpoint is get request and it is slash image and id we need to also write slash img and slash uh, we will need one id so what we can do we can go in our database and let us take this id and paste it here and you got one error unable to get image this is actually wrong we have to do image model dot find by id now this should work when you will again make a get request you will wonder this will not work because this image is a static file for sending static file we need to use one middleware first so we will use this app dot use express dot static and the static will take the folder name as a parameter in which you have saved your static files so all our images are saved in this uploads folder so we will write this uploads folder here and now this should work Still, it was not working because we have not imported this path. If you will go, it is not imported automatically. So we need to import it on path equals to require path. And now this should work. So you can see we got our image. Uh, so let's check with our different image also. Let us check with this image. We will replace this ID and make it get request. And you can see our image is shown. So if you have watched this video till here, then please subscribe to my channel. And you can thank me in comment section.